Hey guys, real quick, I just want to show you um, the second first hop redundancy protocol, which would be VRRP, Virtual Router Redundant Protocol. So, I mean, it's, it's very similar to HSRP. There's a few differences, but um, I've already set everything up as far as interfaces with IP addresses, everything's turned on, EIGRP is configured, so we should be able to ping already. First one's eaten by ARP, but we're good. Um, so let me just show you the configuration of VRRP, very similar to HSRP. Interface, faster than that, zero slash zero. We're going to do VRRP group 1 IP 10.10.61.1. Now you notice I'm using the same IP address as what's configured to the physical interface on this router, which is okay with VRRP. That's one of the differences. HSRP, you cannot use the same IP address for the virtual IP as you did for an interface on, or, excuse me, as you did for a physical interface on one of the routers. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do the same thing over here. So this guy became master because he's the only one configured so far. VRP1 IP. Oops. 10.10.61.1. Right. And immediately this guy jumps to master. Um, now, how priority works on the VRRP protocol is similar to HSRP, with the exception of when you utilize the physical interface IP address as the virtual IP address. Whichever router has that physical IP that matches the virtual IP automatically becomes a master no matter what you can tweak priorities anything you want to do <coughs> excuse me it automatically tweaks the priority for you is what I should say so let me show you what I mean here do show VRP this guy's master his priority is 255 automatically because of the fact that his physical IP address matches that of the virtual IP address um, let's do it on this guy VRP. and we see that his priority is 100 which is the default priority so if this guy had a different IP address for his physical interface he would have the 100 priority and then it would go to uh, the tiebreaker of I believe is the same as HSRP which would be the highest IP address so that's how that works and um, Another thing, let's see what else did I want to show you for VRP preemption. Uh, didn't talk about preemption on the HSRP lab, but HSRP by default has preemption disabled. VRRP by default has preemption enabled. Now is one better than the other? Depends on who you ask, what you're using. I mean, I I really could go either way on that subject because I'm new to it. I think it's a cool technology. Do you need it? not necessarily uh, let me just explain what preemption is if you remember the HSRP lab when we took down let's say router one was the uh, was the active router HSRP terminology is active and standby uh, VRP would be master and backup so let's say we had router one as the active router and we shut it down of course this guy took over as the active router we turned router one's interface back on he came back up but he automatically went into standby mode that's because preemption even though his even though he was the winner of the priority because he had the higher IP address or the priority was set higher whatever the case may be he did not retain or come back and grab the active status that's because preemption was disabled so if preemption was on which it is in VRP we'll see Let's see here, just to confirm we can ping. 
we will see that when we turn an interface off and then back on, if he was the master to start with, he will regain that master title. So let me show you what I mean. Shut down. So this guy should become master here now. And he did. So let's just make sure we can still communicate. And we are now going through router 2, who is the new master. And like I said before, in HSRP when we did this, he would have came back up and not become the master. But as you see, he did. State is master. State is backup. So that's basically what preemption is. I mean, he comes back and uh, regains the title doesn't need to do anything for it, doesn't need to change anything, doesn't need to wait for the other router to go back down. He automatically regains the title. That's preemption. So that's all I wanted to show you for VRRP. That's a basic configuration and uh, explanation of the differences. We covered the fact that preemption is on by default and exactly what preemption does and what it is. And I also showed you that um, VRRP versus HSRP VRP you can use the physical interface IP as the virtual IP and when you do that automatically gives the crown to the router who utilizes that physical IP address so that's it for VRP like I said very similar to HSRP thank you for watching